What is up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you guys again today with another video. In this one I'm going to share with you what's the worst case scenario, what's going to happen if you can't sell your product on Amazon anymore, whether it got too competitive, too saturated, you got too many negative reviews and you're just not getting the sales like you used to. I'm going to kind of give you one of the ways out and actually show you one of my products that I've had this problem with and how to turn basically a negative experience into a positive one. There's never a way that you can't find a way out of it and you're totally going to fail. So let me show you guys some ways to mitigate that and I'm also going to give you some tips in this video on how you can avoid even getting yourself in this situation in the first place. So if you guys didn't know last year I started selling this product it was a garden glove with claws and I'll show you guys kind of what the numbers look like right in here in Jungle Scout. So right now every year this is a seasonal product they look like this and you can see the reviews are really kind of nice and low and the sales look like they're nice and high you can see that the sale price is pretty low. Not something you guys want to get into because that's going to make the revenue pretty low as well per month. Even if you're getting, you know, 794 sales, you're only making six grand in revenue a month, which is not great. When you start, when you start like factoring in the cost of your product and all that and shipping from China and all that. So right out the gate, you can see the average price is 797, very low. The problem with this product, guys, is that no one is differentiating. You see, everyone is selling the same pair of gloves. So, I mean, some people, like, literally aren't bundling. This is the only guy doing a bundle right here. He's only got two reviews. He's on the first page. So that's pretty good for him. But other than that, no one is bundling. So there's no differentiation in this product, which is going to make it very hard to sell, very hard for customers to want to choose your product over anyone else's. Now, when this happened to me, I was like, wow, everyone's dropping their price to like three bucks. How am I going to make money on this? So I actually sent like all my inventory back to my house. And now it's this spring and summertime coming around. And what I did is actually bring my garden gloves to some shops, some actual garden shops, talk with their managers like I did so today. And let me show you what we came out with today. We got the Colt 45, you know, looking looking pretty nice. I like to do that in my spare time. But we can see we got the claw gloves. And for my buddy Steve at this garden shop, he paid me $75 for literally just 25 pairs of these gloves. So I was able to make a bunch of profit and that was just the first place I went to. I walked in and said, hey, can I speak with your manager? Is there any way you guys wanna buy some of these gloves from me? I got a bunch of overstock. I'll give them to you guys wholesale price. And pretty much they were able to buy some gloves off me because they got a lot of customers going in their shop looking to buy those kinds of products. A way to mitigate yourself from ever falling into this situation is always look in the frequently bought together items section in Amazon. Find a way that you can get an awesome complimentary bundled item to sell with your main product. You'll be able to look at all your competitors and see are they bundling, what they're doing and see the ones that are getting the best sales. If of course you have Jungle Scout, you do need Jungle Scout guys. If you don't know already, I will have it linked in the description, but this is the Chrome extension. All you do is you click on that and then it will show you all the sales data. So I can see here, I can sort by the sales and see who's getting the most. So it's this guy. Those are his gloves. He's doing it looks like he's got a sweet little bag. So if we click on his listing, we can see he's doing a bundle with this little cool little knit bag. And just because of that, and of course he's got a really low price, he's getting a thousand sales a month. So just because he's got this really low price and kind of a little bundled item with his product, he's getting a ton of sales. And if you guys can figure out a way to kind of make your listing stand out with a bundle or something like that, you're really not gonna have too much of a problem because you're gonna beat out like 80 to 90% of other sellers who aren't including anything else with their product. With my newest product, I'm actually gonna do a bundle. No one else is bundling. I'm gonna bundle a really awesome complimentary item. I'm gonna have my product insert card in there to hopefully have them leave a review for me and go find me at my Facebook page so I can get Amazon customers off Amazon onto Facebook where I can interact with them more, ask them what they would want, maybe with a different bundled item or something like that. But it's pretty much that simple, guys. You know, if you have a product that you can't sell on Amazon, it's too competitive or something, 
You can always leave some inventory in Amazon because it slowly will sell, but I would recommend, you know, shipping some inventory home. You can put it on eBay. You can sell it on phone apps like OfferUp. I had a guy reach out to me. I put all these different Amazon products that I have on OfferUp that I've actually exchanged with friends for reviews, you know, to get reviews on my product, which is kind of hard now. Amazon's kind of cracking down on that stuff a little bit more. Uh, they've actually removed some people's reviews that uh, I was trading with and stuff like that. I haven't had it happen to me in particular, but others, I've had friends do the trading with the reviews from Facebook review groups and the reviews got taken down. So I uh, have all these kind of leftover products. I put them on offer up and I'm able to have people in my local area come and buy the products that are basically sitting at my house that I've gotten for free because I traded them with friends for reviews for my own Amazon products. So there's ways you can sell these things, guys. You just gotta have that entrepreneur type mindset to get out and start hustling, you know? I've been selling these things at garage sales and stepping up at garage sales with a sign saying like, Amazon product sale. And I was slanging garden gloves and all these other things. So, I mean, that's what we got going in the house right now, man. We're just hanging out here. We got garden gloves with claws, but uh, I got a lot in store for you guys real soon up in here. Uh, this is kind of off topic, but I mean, we got the drone in here, the Mavic Air. Very excited to bring this drone to you guys because I just want to start bringing you crazy content, showing you a little bit more, more about my life. And you know, we can check out my room in here. This is how we do it, man. Luke W stepping up. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my personal backstory, kind of show you a product I didn't have the best success with, but ways that I did go ahead and actually go ahead and make some money because I went and stepped up and asked a manager, you know, can I sell you some garden gloves? I got some stock. They said, of course, that sounds awesome. So if you guys can just step out, you ask and you may just receive something that you never even thought. So. I wanted to get a little microphone and put it in here and go up to other managers and actually record my conversation with them so I could put it in a video, you know? I watched some other people do that uh, when I was into social media marketing and I thought it was really cool. So if I get a chance to do that again, which I will, I'll try and uh, get that video recorded. Someone videoing me talking to them and then have me record it on my mic there. So that might be a cool idea. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. It's looking pretty sunny out here. Just a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Coming at you from Washington State. If you like the video, please throw a thumbs up. Smash that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Because I got a lot more content in store for you guys. We got that Mavic drone coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Audio